Well, hi, this is uh, Chase, and in this video, I get the question a lot, um, can you FaceTime more than one person at a time? And unfortunately, you can't. FaceTime is really only meant for one person that you can connect with. You can't do more than one. But uh, I also use another solution for that. It's called Zoom. You may want to check it out. It is free. Um, you can just go to zoom.us. And I'll put the link in the uh, description of this video. Um, and it is free, although they do charge if you plan to use it uh, as a pro user or for your business. But if you want a basic account, it's completely free. And that one, what that really means is you can have one up to 100 participants all sharing video and doing all that, which is awesome. Unlimited meetings and such and such. Um, and basically, the only drawback is it's 40 minutes is the limit on a group meeting or a group call. That's really not a big deal. I use it all the time. I've, uh, you know, I really enjoy it. And for those of you that want to use FaceTime um, for a group, it's just not capable. So Zoom, there are a lot of other solutions, but I do like Zoom uh, for meetings, so it's pretty nice. So as you can see in the little screenshot, this is an iPad, and it's got video of all these people. The same is true on the uh, iPhone. Um, it also works on Android, uh, although I use an iPhone. And then you can see on the Mac, there's uh, multiple viewers, uh, webcams all at once. So it does uh, do video calls for more than one person. So, um, if you're looking to do more than just one person, um, you know, like with FaceTime, I would check out Zoom and see how you like it. It is free. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. If you like this video, give me a like. If you have any positive comments, leave those as well. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.